why Australians are so laid back. It was an awkward moment for the Queen when she was greeted with a cheery good day, how you going, by former Australian cricketer Dennis Lilly. It was such an amusing afternoon for writer Miranda Luby when she and her colleagues played barefoot bowls with their boss while addressing him by his first name and mocking his game that she wrote an article about the Aussie's laid-back nature for BBC. This surprisingly unconventional behavior continues to shock the world at times while making others envious of the lack of formalities in Australian society. As we, common inhabitants of the universe, struggle, stress, and worry to survive, people in the land down under seem surprisingly relaxed as they go about their daily lives. It's a strange kind of calm for today's age, a happy-go-lucky attitude, and it can be infectious if you stay in their company and be their mate for long. If you've got no chill, as they say nowadays, you should go meet the Australians. Rumor has it they've got plenty of it. Many have wondered what makes the Aussies have such a casual attitude. There's gossip that they might not actually be casual. They are just too lazy to be serious. However, before we start using any libels, it's better to see exactly what the Australians do to deserve such a reputation. How laid back are they? The laid back attitude of the Aussies has been the topic of much discussion. The observation that their women generally sport a more natural than made up look has made them popular in today's era of awareness and appreciation of our real, natural selves. The Australian language, although basically English, involves ample use of abbreviations for common words, giving a more informal vibe and possibly not even understandable to those unacquainted with these peculiar Australian terms. Aussie slang refers to afternoon as arvo, cockroach as cocky, barbecue as barbie, politician as poly, and the list goes on with remarkably unfathomable words. According to Dr. Tanya Luckins, a specialist in Australian studies, such a language indicates the tendency of Australians to avoid formalizing matters. Profuse swearing is also a big part of Australian language, with the word bastard almost used as a term of endearment. Moreover, finding sarcastic humor even in serious situations might be frowned upon in most settings, but this behavior is considered classic Australian. So what's the story behind these mysteriously serene people in this fast-paced world? People of a content nature A relaxed attitude automatically comes from being contented with what you have. The constant nagging need for more is stressful and Aussies seem to be blessed in the regard that they're happy with their lives. According to a report by OECD, the satisfaction of Australians is overall above average. 84% of Aussies, as compared to the 80% OECD average, are reported to having said that they experience more positivity, such as restfulness, pride, joy, etc., in any day than negative emotions. A relaxed work culture According to a report by the employment firm Hayes, more than 50% of Australians prefer working from home so much that they would agree to a 20% decrease in salary if provided the facility. This is further proof of the Australians' laid-back nature. As it is, they already have a relaxed work culture with most dressing casually at work and some even having beers for lunch. Australian managers often tend to swear during meetings, such as the informal environment, even at work. Also, shockingly for most, office romances are not an issue here. As long as the people involved maintain professional behavior during work hours, the management doesn't care what they do in their free time. Another interesting habit of some Australians is going without shoes outdoors, since it's considered perfectly acceptable to even go to the market without wearing any. Many Aussies leave for work in casual shoes with their work shoes in a bag, only to put them on upon reaching the workplace. Egalitarianism From a History of Convicts Considered one of the world's most egalitarian nations, Australia has this value running deep in its culture where the natives treat everyone alike, regardless of their social standing. This has been criticized by many status-conscious outsiders, since it means that the same language is used for servants as well as leaders. This egalitarian nature, the refusal to accept being inferior, stems from Australia's dark past with convicts who were victims of discrimination. Ultimately, that they gave rise to the belief in the equality of humanity as a way to rebel against the discrimination. This egalitarianism is a value that has ingrained into Australian culture. This equality goes so far that classic Australian mateship code does not allow you to sit in the back of a taxi when traveling alone, since it is considered quite rude. The Recreational Climate a country full of natural beauty and ample opportunities for recreation, Australia has a soothing weather with mild summers and winters in most provinces. With its lush tropical rainforests, sandy beaches, rugged mountains, and desert landscapes, there's one environment to suit every mood. How can you stay stressed in such a country? Better to relax and enjoy nature's gifts. 
Their beautiful beaches and plethora of outdoor sports offer great opportunities to unwind and hence are refreshing experiences that could provide further peace of mind and contribute to a more laid-back attitude. Australians continue to be criticized, discussed, and yes, even envied for the unique way they go about their lives. While some may call them lazy or rude, the country has some hard workers with a not-so-ideal work-life balance. Their calm demeanor and casual attitude does not in any way mean they compromise on work. They already seem to be doing too much of it. They're just genuinely friendly people who like chatting with strangers and joking around, even if sometimes the timing isn't right.